Disclaimer, I'm going to be uh, feeding uh, two live mice to my two tegus, um, and I just want to make sure everybody understands that I hate uh, mistreatment of animals, and I don't enjoy, uh, you know, killing any animals. It's really hard for me to uh, feed sometimes these mice um, to my reptiles, but um, it is it is life. It is what they do in the wild, and um, I would like to have a way to to euthanize them in the most humane way, but you know. Uh, being just at home, you know, I don't have a way to, you know, I don't want to introduce any chemicals to them and, and then introduce chemicals to the reptiles. I don't want to bang their heads against the wall. I don't want to choke them out. I don't, I, I think that the best and most hu humane way, because these reptiles are like guided missiles, when they see that mouse, I mean, the, their, the mouse is, is going to be just, it's going to immediately <laughs> die. Um, so I think it's the quickest way to end the lives of these uh, live mice. Also, too, I buy frozen mice, but frozen mice, man, they're all shriveled up. They don't, they're all shrunken in. And I think the, uh, the live mice are going to provide more nutrition and be healthier for the reptiles. And I'm not really worried about the mouse biting uh, the tegus because the tegus are so vicious when it comes to uh, comes to the mice and uh, ending their lives. So other than that, I just wanted to say that, and uh, I take no joy in doing this, but it is life, and I want to document it and just show you um, how these tegus go about attacking their prey. Okay. With that said, I'm going to move on to uh, feeding the tegus. All right, here's Mac. He is ready to go. He senses that uh, I have mice. I have to be real careful because I don't want to get bit. Uh, but he uh, he senses something's going on. Oh, so let me get him. See, he he ran away. Let me get him back here. Okay, so now that he's, hopefully you can see me, now that he's eaten, I'm going to have to remove him from the room because he is so food aggressive that he could attack the little smaller red female tegu. They get along great, um, but when food is introduced, this larger male um, loses his mind and could attack the, uh, the female red. So we got to take him in another room because he is so alerted to uh, you know food but other than that then we're going to feed the red tegu uh, right now she's here's my red tegu female she's letting me pick her up a little bit easier now she's not being as such a pain and is uh, being a little bit more accepting but this mouse is a little bit smaller
that mouse bank may be too big for her to eat. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. She kind of had a little bit full belly, so we'll see if she can get that down. But if not, I'm going to probably have to uh, make that a little bit smaller. We'll see um, how it goes. <laughs> 